Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Waigi, and uh, today I want to share with you this um, interesting product called the Pocket Science Lab, also known as the PS Lab. I actually have a, a case, uh, a set with me right now in my, in my bag, but I can show you after the talk later. Okay. So a little bit about myself. I am uh, I graduated from Singapore Poly with a diploma in computer engineering about two years ago. I'm currently pursuing a degree in computer science in NTU right now. And while I was in uh, national service, I also got involved with this organization called Force Asia, which started this project called the uh, Pocket Science Lab. And I realized that, hey, they actually built this um, open source hardware and software for this, just this project. So let's look more into PS Lab. All right. So what is a PS Lab, right? PS Lab is actually a microcontroller board that can do many different things, such as an oscilloscope, a multimeter. It can even be a wave generator. Now the fun thing is, the PS Lab is not only open source on the software level. The hardware, the case design, everything is all on our GitHub pages. So everything is open source on every level, which is why I want to share with you PS Lab today. So here we have the desktop app. Well, this uh, desktop application is developed in Python 2. And Right now, unfortunately, a lot of stuff doesn't work with the latest Linux distribution for Python 2. So we are currently upgrading to Python 3, slowly. <laughs> but we'll get there one day. OK. Then next, we have the, let me show you about this Android application. And um, so when I got into the Force Asia team, the Android application just started to begin. So I have to make a lot of changes with the developers. I also have to develop some on myself. For example, the multimeter. At first, it wasn't look like this. There was, it looked more like the wave generator where there's a lot of buttons to press. But Let's take a reference from the desktop application. Does this look <laughs> very user friendly? <laughs> On a desktop, all right, with a mouse and keyboard, yeah, maybe it's a bit easier, but can you imagine this on an Android phone? The size of your palm? <laughs> all right, so we actually redesigned a lot of stuff and here we are to the Android application. And the Android application actually have a lot more functions other than the multimeter, wave generator, and the logic analyzer um, that I've shown here. So maybe I should do some demo. Hmm. Just a short one. Here I'm using an Android phone. And on the right, left, on the left is the PS Lab. I'm controlling an LED to light up using my phone. <laughs> and here we have the moisture sensor with an oscilloscope on the same Android application. So when I touch it with a wet tissue, yeah, the voltage goes down. <laughs> I can see reflected directly on the application itself. Here are some, another function of the PS Lab, which is the wave generator. Here I made a sine wave and I hook it up to the oscilloscope. And you can see we have a sine wave. OK, 
can change the time base like any other oscilloscope. And then maybe you do not want a sine wave. I change it to a triangular wave. And same, I can view it under the oscilloscope. Oh, then I can't see the frequency. So I need to increase the time base here. There we go. So actually, that is just the uh, three functions of the pocket science lab that I, I have for the video demo. But that's not the end of the presentation yet. <laughs> so, hmm. let's go next. All right. So these are actually some of the GitHub pages that we host on our GitHub page. On the fourth stage of GitHub page, we have the PS Lab Python, which is the backend, the API to talk to the PS Lab and to the desktop application. So the desktop application builds upon the PS Lab Python. And the PS Lab Android is just Android app. And the firmware is the image that's running on the on the Pic24 that's on the on the PS Lab itself. And lastly, um, if anybody is more interested on the Pocket Science Lab, we have a website. It's very easy to remember, just pslab.io. <laughs> very easy to remember. If you want to view, look at our application, you can check out our application on the F Drive or on the Android store. You can just search pslab and it will come out. Um, if you look up on the Android store, be sure to download the one from Force Asia because there's also another one another author or creator who uploaded the same application, but we are not sure if it is safe to download. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, that's really all that I have. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Thank you, Mike. Mikey. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is like a really, really interesting project. Um, I, I've got a, maybe two questions. Maybe the first one I can ask for myself by going to PS Lab at IO, which is how much does the hardware cost? But <laughs> the, the real question I would like to ask was related to when you did the sensor, when you wipe the sensor into a voltage, record voltage drop inside the app. Um, would it be correct to say that that is actually, and I'm not an electrical engineer of any sort, right? Um, like, no knowledge. So this could Mm -hmm. uh, am I correct in saying that that could be an arbitrary sensor as long as the sensor actually sends a voltage, a voltage to the um, to the device that the device can take and it represents on the screen? And are there defined ranges on those voltages or restrictions on what that sensor can, can pick up to it? Okay. Second part of the question. Sorry, uh -huh. Okay. Is, um, Okay. Um, for the first part of your question, you are absolutely right that uh, the application actually displays the voltage changes accordingly. So uh, for the moisture sensor just now, all right, it's hooked up to um, five volts. So and there is a sensor that changes from zero to five according to how wet the sensor is. So when I touch it with the wet tissue, you can see the voltage drops. That's the analog output. So I'm actually um, sensing the analog output from the sensor. And I, I wired the analog output into the oscilloscope of the PS lab. Yeah, and shown on the application itself. And for, 
to answer your second part of the question, um, our software stack are all open source. So if you like to, you could fork, make a fork, and you can do anything you want to do, actually. <laughs> yes. Yes, the microcontroller is a PIC24. Yeah. If you want to know more, the the full specification is actually on the on the website itself, PSLab.io. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think the first question I did get the answer. How much it costs? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and the second uh, part, I mean, okay, so so the board is powered off your phone. Is it? I couldn't really see it in the video. So. Uh, yes.